what if i told you that reputable sources are saying that boudica is going to be the next prime commander here in rise of kingdoms an archer legendary sitting alongside henry v of england what's going on guys cheers i actually just finished this i'm sorry now ever since cpo came into the game and brought the prime designation for legendary commanders a lot of us including myself have been speculating on who the next legendary is going to be who used to be an epic commander and i even talked about how joan of arc and sun tzu were the next uh, candidates that i thought would get the prime treatment but here it turns out that reputable sources are saying that a prime version of boudica yes that's right everyone's favorite boudica is coming to the legendary tier in rise of kingdom she will be allegedly an archer legendary commander on the wheel of fortune and her mightiest governor counterpart is going to be henry the fifth now i don't have any images here of these commanders in the video because i'm trying to be a little bit more careful with showing that type of stuff here on the channel but if you want to share those types of things you can find them in my discord link will be in the description below i do just want to preface this all by saying before we move forward these are of course unofficial sources so we don't know exactly if any of this is real or true however again these are coming from reputable sources who also predicted that egypt was going to be our next civilization which turns out to be true go ahead and check out my discord if you missed that and they also predicted that we would be getting two new siege legendaries which of course we already know that that is true as well in the brand new kvk maybe we'll talk about that here in a little bit so even though this isn't official information i do think there's enough credibility behind it to go ahead and make a video and talk about it because we do also know what three out of the four skills are for both of these commanders it seems to be the case that we don't know the active skill for these commanders now it's possible that these two commanders are going to come into the game much later than we expected if you guys saw chiskel's video where he talked about markswoman prime and city keeper legendary those were very likely placeholder images and that was sort of the conclusion that chiskel came to and of course i absolutely agree i don't think there's any chance that they put those two commanders in the game as prime or legendary i just don't see that being the case it seems like prime is a designation for a historical figure in their prime at the peak of their rule or dominance or military career right if you look at cpo like he is in his prime and that's why he is stronger now as a legendary that that's kind of how i uh, understand the prime designation so i just don't see them giving prime to a a green commander that isn't even a it's not even a real historical figure there's no prime for marksman what's what's markswoman right so again i do think that those were placeholders in that video uh for boudica prime and henry the fifth now since there's clearly not any actual images in the game files yet it may still be a while before these commanders come into the game right it looks like we're thinking around august is what we're hearing through the grapevine which is quite far away and of course that would make sense if they haven't finalized the designs for the characters if they haven't finalized the types of uh, skills that they're going to have which again we're going to talk about them here but it's notable that the active skills seem to be missing from what we know of these commanders so again it could be a balancing thing it could be just they haven't worked out the animations and they're not really sure what to be doing for these active skills so we don't know the active skills for either of these commanders oh, as it appears to me but let's talk about the other skills for these commanders okay so for boudica um her first non-active skill her first i guess you would call it her second skill uh is going to increase archer attack and if less than a certain percent of units remain it will increase archer defense so again we don't know the specific numbers behind these skills but just to give you a general uh, loose translation and general idea of what these skills are going to do that is sort of what we understand at this point um, her third skill is going to reduce skill damage taken by a certain percentage and when you take skill damage there will be a percent chance to increase your archer attack this of course will come with a certain cooldown as well you don't know if it's you know three seconds five seconds eight seconds we're not sure at that point um skill four for prime boudica appears to deal increased damage to infantry it also appeal appears to after an active skill is used heal your troops with a certain amount of healing factor also with a cooldown and apparently and this is a little bit of a, a poor translation um it will increase all damage okay so sort of like a nebu right has all damage increase and it also says gives immunity to ef control 
so i don't know what that means if that's effect control or silence control or i i, I, have, I have no idea okay so that i'm not really sure if you guys have any idea what that could be you can leave it in the comments section below but that's everything that we know for Boudica right now so just to recap archer attack archer defense under a certain percent and when skill damage is taken there's a percent percent chance to trigger another increase in archer attack we also have some healing factor and increased damage to infantry so this there seems to be no signs of this being a garrison commander right this is probably going to be someone that you more so use in the open field and honestly depending on what those stats look like this isn't that uh exciting right we see some healing factor in there which i'm not usually super in love with as an open field commander but if she has a primary skill that is just busted op then you know it could you know she could have a circular aoe for example with 2000 damage factor five targets and then it's like gg she's best commander in the game right so we have no idea what the rest of her kit looks like from the um talents perspective obviously we know she's archer but other than that we're not really sure probably not defense oriented because we've seen no health here and only a defense buff that is conditional so probably not the defense tree probably not the garrison tree so i'm assuming we're going to see some sort of like versatility or skill damage commander something along those lines could be attack as well not really sure next let's talk about uh, Henry V and I'll put somebody else up here on the screen uh, you know what we'll, we'll use the real placeholder here okay where's the real placeholder yes we're gonna use the real placeholder yes city keeper and by that I mean Henry V okay Henry V is uh apparently again a mightiest governor commander um the second skill because again active skill we don't know will increase archer attack and archer defense and if you're outside alliance territory will increase archer march speed so that's going to be really exciting there this again looks like a more of an offensive commander skill three is when attacking a stronghold or a city increases archer attack and there's a percent chance of reducing enemy health so this could be devastating if this is a rally commander paired with gilgamesh for example gg could be crazy however could be swarmed down could be right that's a huge problem that archers have with rallies is that you know if they're too frail they're too fragile you just swarm them down and then it doesn't even matter if they would pound you because it is what it is um skill four uh the, the first two are cut and dry skill four says if the enemy has an increase to their damage buff if the enemy has an active buff going on that increases their damage then you would deal a certain damage factor over time and it also increases the damage that you deal based on your rage meter so that is an interesting mechanic that we you know we've seen some things like Suleiman deal damage based on enemy rage meter and things like that and so there have been some skills that manipulate rage or use rage as a pre prerequisite for a trigger or something along those lines so again here it looks like you will have a, a scale depending on what your rage is at the time it pops uh, or triggers there you'll have an increase in damage I don't know what these numbers look like or how this is really going to work but again that is everything that we know for Henry V at this point again English commander it seems to be the case that at least one of these commanders is going to be a conquering commander so they're going to be for rallies we don't really know which one it is I would put my uh, money on Henry V that is who I'm assuming is going to be the rally commander here but again we don't know the active skills we don't know the talent trees besides that they will probably have the archer talent tree and that's pretty much everything we know for these two commanders that are probably quite a ways away a few months away at this point point. and based on what we're seeing here obviously we don't know the the percentages but i don't imagine that they're going to give you like a hundred percent of stats like that would just be ridiculous so assuming that these are all in line with some of the more recent power creeped commanders i'm not seeing anything too exciting here unless we see some insane amounts of skill damage on the primary skill and who knows i mean that literally is such a key piece of the of the pie that we, we it's too early to make any assumptions based on how good these commanders are going to be next let's talk about the two new siege legendaries that are coming to the brand new kvk power up mode uh this is wafura okay he is obviously already in the game which is why i'm okay with showing images of him here in this video um but heroic anthem power up is the only story apparently that we're going to be able to use wafura in we have no information on how we're going to obtain this commander i think that's the biggest question that we have about wafura and also torgny is going to be the other commander that we get credit to uh kingdom 93 for this information obviously you can see their discord here so go ahead and support them if you want but we don't know how this is going to work um it seems to be the case that nobody is going to use their universal legendary commander sculptures on commanders that are temporary um it could be the case that these commanders you, you know if you expertise them and then you lose them after kvk 
the next time you go into the the uh, heroic anthem power up you get them back at the exact same skill level and uh you know experience level and all that stuff so you know it's totally possible that these could just be permanent in that way um, but there also could be an event that gets you these sculptures for these commanders or maybe they show up in some sort of temporary pop-up bundle sort of like how crystal work crystals work um that's something to consider there but um these both these commanders it's important to know they are engineering which means this is a brand new talent tree that we've never seen before and it is for siege specifically which is really interesting this is going to be for the arrow towers okay Th these two commanders are made for putting in your arrow towers building your arrow to towers with them um, and let's go ahead and take a look at Wafura first. Okay. Deals range skill damage to the current target with a damage factor of 2000. This damage can only slightly wound units. So you're not going to fill someone's hospital with this, uh, with this active skill can only be used while in an arrow tower. So this commander, like literally, if you're not in an arrow tower does not have an active skill, which is just like, that just goes to show like what these commanders are going to be used for. You will never use these in the open field. So that's why people won't use their universals on them. If that's how they're going to come into the game. Second skill says increases attack of a first seed units by 5% and March speed by 10%. That does not scale. That is just base. That's just how it is. Um, all Wafers troops deal 20% more ranged normal attack damage. So that is interesting stuff there, but only 5% attack. Like that's just, that's just not a lot, right? That's just, it's just not, um, thrill of the hunt third skill increases counterattack damage dealt by our first troops by up to 30%. There's a 10% chance to increase normal attack damage by 10% when hit with the normal attack. This can only trigger once every five seconds. So that's pretty cool stuff there. You're not going to want to, uh, I guess surround them, although it will be siege. So. Uh, I don't know. Um, increases defense of Wafura's siege units by 20%. 10% chance to decrease the target's attack by 10% when launching a range normal attack. This effect triggers once every five seconds. So again, this second part of the skill here only works when they're in the arrow tower. Nothing else. Like nothing else. If they're in the open field, they just get the 20% bonus to defense. That's it. Expertise reduces proportion of severely wounded units by 25% while in an arrow tower. That is actually really good because arrow towers are going to function just like flags right so you're they're going to get rallied and the fact that you're going to get 25 percent less sub wounds is really nice stuff there moving on to Torgny, we see that he increases range normal attack damage by 30 percent for five seconds can only be used while in an arrow tower so again this commander will be basically useless in the open field until they get to that arrow tower and they will be filled with siege so depending on how much march speed and stats we get from this engineering tree uh you might need to play, be really careful with how these are used in the open field because siege gets swarmed down and then it's gg uh the next skill says increases attack of uh Torgny's siege units by five percent and defense by five percent all Torgny's troops deal 20 percent more ranged normal attack damage that is very similar to what we see here on wafura so you can put these both obviously in the same army and you now deal 40 percent more normal attack damage which is really good third skill while in an arrow tower troops take one percent less normal attack damage that is not scaling by the way that's just just one percent flat okay and when hit with a normal attack troops have a 10 percent chance of dealing skill damage to their target with, da with a damage factor of a thousand this effect can only trigger once every five seconds that's fine i guess i don't i don't know and again this this ha you have to be in an arrow tower for this entire skill so like again useless in the open field um increases health of Torgny's siege units by 20 percent and when hit with a normal attack they have a 10 percent chance to increase their defense by 10 percent for three seconds five second cooldown cool stuff there and the exact same expertise as wafura so these two commanders um they don't seem like again it comes down to how the engineering uh tree is and also um like how the kvk functions with arrow towers we have to like get in the kvk and actually see how it works um because that's going to determine if these commanders are busted good or just super boring because again we're talking about siege units here and a lot of these skills don't work in the open field so they have a very niche role to play for sure and we don't really know how we're gonna get them i guess the final thing to note is that there are released images of egypt troops tier 4 and tier 5 in the game files already so we're not going to show them here in this video but again join my discord if you are interested in things like that egypt is confirmed it's on the way there is uh through the grapevine we're hearing july release for egypt but there is no guarantee for that i think lilith is going to have a big release for Egypt it's going to be huge for the game and I'm excited so I can't wait to see 
more information about the Egyptian civilization it seems to be the case that we're going to be getting uh, an archer buff for for Egypt so that's something to keep in mind as well um keep a lookout in July for that to drop I honestly hope it's sooner than that I don't want to wait till July especially if we're waiting until August for these new archer commanders Boudicca Prime and Henry the fifth guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here subscribe to the channel and even if you think you are go ahead and check because 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel and YouTube is probably just recommending my videos and you're watching them and you think you're sub but you're not so go ahead and click that button click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace